Hi everyone. Pesticide residues in our food. Like you take vegetables and fruits, all are having pesticide residues. Nowadays, no food is free from pesticide residues. Either you believe it or not. If, for example, daily if you take one mg of pesticide per year, it will accumulate 365 mg of pesticide residues in our tissues. By applying simple techniques, we can reduce or remove the pesticide residual contents in our fresh produce, vegetables and fruits. How? Foods, if you dip the salt solution, we have to prepare 10% of salt solution and dip the fresh produce vegetables and green leafy vegetables and fruits. Leave it for 12 to 15 minutes, then wash with plain water. Salts can remove DDT and many kinds of pesticides. So monocrotophos, cybermethrin, etc. Many kinds of pesticides it will remove. Maybe you can by applying the salts, salt dip, you can remove up to 20% or 30% of the pesticides residues from press produce. And the third one is the vinegar. Vinegar is expensive. If you you if you dip the vegetables or fruits in the vinegar solution, that also will remove the pesticide residues from the press produce. Then the fourth method is baking soda. So the baking soda will effectively remove the 96% of the pesticides residues in the vegetables and fruits. Yes, that is true. Scientific studies shows that the baking soda will act on the surface of the vegetables and surface of the pesticides, surface of the green leafy vegetables and fruits will remove the pesticides yes how to prepare nowadays baking soda is cheaply available compared with vinegar vinegar is expensive we can take the baking soda from the supermarkets it's cheaply available dip the vegetables or fruits in the baking soda solution so take 5 10 grams of baking soda dissolve in 1 liter of water it's better you take 10 grams 7 to 10 grams of the baking soda dissolved in 1 liter of water. So, after dissolving, then put the vegetables or fruits freshly produced from the supermarket. Leave it for 15 to 20 minutes. 96% of the pesticides residues can be removed if you dip in the baking soda solution. After 15 20 minutes, Take out the vegetables and fruits and wash it with plain water and leave it for dry for something, some time. What is the mechanism behind in it? When we apply the baking soda, so see the mechanism is all pesticides, all pesticides having a surfactant because of the vegetables and fruits having water repulsive mechanism the surface of the vegetables and surface of the fruits you know when the rain occurs or you put the water on the uh, leaves of the plants or uh, fruits and vegetables it will repel so to stick the pesticide residues on surface of the fruits and vegetables the manufacturers of the pesticides industry they are adding surfactants with the pesticide so the pesticide contains surfactant which will stick to the surface of the fruits or vegetables or surface of the green leafy vegetables then automatically the pests can be controlled so that is the process here we are dipping the vegetables or fruits in the baking soda for 15 to 20 minutes what will happen you know the baking soda so the baking soda will act on the surfactant to lose the grip on the surface 
on the surfactant. What happens if the surfactant loses the grip on the surface of the vegetables or fruits? Then automatically it will be removed by plain washing with tap water. This is how we can remove 96% maximum 96% of pesticide residues in fresh produce, vegetables and fruits by dipping the vegetables and fruits in the baking soda solution. Yeah. Nowadays, a no food is the free from chemicals, pesticide residues, especially the pesticide residues. Because of every agricultural produce, every press produce like fruits and vegetables contains small but legal residues of pesticides. So certain pesticides can be applied directly to the food or crops to control the weeds, to control the insects, to control the microbial growth. And other pesticides which cannot be applied directly to the fields. For example, rodenticides. So rodenticides only apply to kill the rats. Most of the pesticides residues in the fruits and vegetables below the legal residual limits. Pesticides can be used legally only if they are registered with appropriate authorities. For example, countries like in India, so FSSAA is the competent authority. When you take the developed countries like USA, so US EPA is an approving authority. So they will regularize, legalize the pesticides. So they have a list of the pesticides which are approved to apply for non-organic farming sectors and for the organic farming sectors also they have approved the list of chemicals which are about some 30 chemicals they have given the approval but various non-organic farming sectors they have given approval about some 300 chemicals per spray so the US EPA United States Environmental Protection Agency having a uh, specifications and guidelines how to use the pesticides how to apply the doses levels and mixing instructions so the the spraying the, the the people who are applying the pesticides to the fields should strictly follow the guidelines or the instructions labeling instructions on the tins otherwise the pesticide residues will become above the limits in our modern world no food is 100% free from pesticides. If you are taking the pesticide residues, if you are eating the food which contains the pesticide residues below the legal limits, but you keep on eating, 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 it will accumulate inside your tissues. What will happen, you know, there are a lot of health complications. Nowadays, see, the cancer patients are increasing food poisoning the diarrhea will occur then hormonal imbalance will occur if you take the more if the pesticides concentration increasing in your tissues or increasing in your body and you will get the hair problems hair loss and you will get the some skin allergy and uh, you will get some kidney uh, dysfunction organic failures so many things will happen lot of disadvantages you keep on eating the vegetables and fruits which contains the pesticide residues either below the limits or lower levels or above the level that is immaterial but you keep on eating no so your tissues also getting accumulated the residual content so there is no doubt applying baking soda in our press produce is a highly effective method to remove or to reduce the pesticides to become a smart consumer every day as and when you buy the vegetables from the market you should dip in the baking soda solutions prevention is better than cure so we have to follow precautions to minimize or to reduce 
the intake of pesticides related to residues are to avoid by following some tips the first one is baking soda solution dipping in the baking soda solution and the second one is we have to buy the fruits or vegetables which are seasonally available and avoid exotic fruits the second one and third one is certain kinds of vegetables you have to wash after peel for example cabbage cabbage the first layer you can remove and after that you can wash or dip in the solution onions onion also after peeling you can dip in the solution and certain other apple also you have to peel off because of apple also coating coated by some and to prevent antioxidants and the fourth one is some fruits or vegetables are heavily treated with pesticides others are not think wise before buying the fruits or vegetables and the fifth one is prefer if organic produce is available in an economic price but that is rare organic produce are the pricing prices are soaring up you try to buy if available so these are the tips we can follow in our daily uh, while taking the food we can minimize the uh, pesticide residues in our body that's all this video friends did you find it to be helpful if as show me your support by giving this video a bit of thumbs up and comment on below please do remember and subscribe my channel to get more updates